breaking off. All units, fire at will. Watch two, pick a target. Too many, Captain. Watch your stabilizer, Gold Six. Anybody, cover me. I got two vultures on my tail. You've got to hold them here. Watch your left. I can't shake them. I'm hit. I'm hit. Where's our reinforcements? One thing is a bundle or addition. Just like I told you in my video of best Star Wars video game editions, but another thing is a game collection, a pack of video games that serves the purpose to bring together some excellent games, DLCs, and in other cases, bring sales to non-fortunate games with low sales. Which, in this talk, there is no such thing as that. Cause each spot have been a delight to the fans and worth it to have even if you have already each game by separately. Because most of the collections that you see possess some games that are beyond anything that you will see soon, rather from Disney or others. Hello there to you all brothers and sisters, these are the best Star Wars video game collections. Number 5. Star Wars Galactic Battleground Saga I knew for the first time the strategy games and English with Battlegrounds, loved more the clones thanks to clone campaigns, and I can understand every joke of Age of Empires, and even if it doesn't have any content in episode 3, it tells amazing stories from the expanded universe, no great characters, love new weapons, and also love the presence of already new characters like using Vader, and be able to spawn army of Jedi or Sith, or hear a campaign told by Mara Jade. No matter your side, having both Battlegrounds and expansion clone campaigns, this game and bundle promise to give hours of entertainment, even if you like Wookiees and Gangrens. Number 4. Star Wars Empire at War Gold Pack What can be better than a strategy game of Star Wars fueled by an already awesome strategy game? And a strategy game made from scratch. Lucas' first attempt to do such thing was a Star Wars Commander, a game that showed an amazing fantasy for the people that love the Empire, from the music to the battles promised in the trailer and first cinematic, but ended up to be not so good, and nothing close to Battlegrounds. So when a new strategy game called Empire at War was announced, the fans were ready thanks to previous experiences, and the surprise was… how amazing was this game? The only thing that lacked in these games, and the some sort of only bad thing, as I already said on the top, was that it didn't have more content like planets, heroes, etc. Things that were fixed in expansion forces of corruption, bringing now more planets, more space to deploy the armies and fleets, more memorable heroes like Thrawn for the first time as a playable character, and an amazing campaign. And having them both in the same package, the world goal will mean that this game will shine in any collection. Number 3. Kotor Collection When you ask a fan who has explored all about Star Wars which is his favorite game, most people will find it difficult to give an answer, but one game will always will be as a candidate, Knights of the Old Republic both original and Sith Lords. The reason why the online Old Republic game was so well embraced was because of these two games, which showed you that you don't have to recycle the original trilogy and make it beyond possibility to make a true Star Wars story. More than a thousand years before the Star Wars saga, these two games explored the era where the Sith and Jedi fought their wars across the galaxy in army numbers, giving us characters that made echo in the fandom beyond most of what Disney can bring and make in all kinds of advertising. Things that we saw in the poll were Darth Revan, characters of Knights of the Old Republic and one icon of the Old Republic, won against other characters and cheats from Disney. A new look to the galaxy and a Star Wars experience that no matter the age and no matter the graphics, these two games can be sometimes over other Star Wars games with amazing graphics, like the Battlefront from EA. Number 2. Star Wars Fame Favorites 1 and Star Wars Fame Favorite 2. Okay, <coughs> this might take a while. This spot is shared of two separate collections because of the jewels that each of collection possess. First, the lowest one, Star Wars Fame Favorite 2, gives you Star Wars Starfighter, Star Wars Jedi 2 Jedi Outcast, and Jedi Jedi Academy. 
Star Wars Starfighter was a game that reminds you so much to Rogue Squadron, but with the obvious thing that this game have a campaign with just the Naboo Starfighter. Unlike Battle for Naboo where you use other vehicles than just this fighter, and its success leads to a sequel, Star Wars Jedi Starfighter, game where some elements of Episode 2 were shown before the movie, like the Battle of Geonosis. The other two games in this fan favorites are Jedi Outcast and Jedi Academy, the last games in the Dark Forces saga. Jedi yeah, Outcast keeps telling you the story of Kai Katarns after the events in Mysteries of the Sith. Its gameplay transforms from this to this. A gameplay so free and complete that makes it a better force and lightsaber used than other games. And this level experience was enough to make it better. And the only way to make it even better came with its sequel, Jedi Academy. When you are no longer Kai Katarn, but now a Jedi called Jaden Kor who begins his journey as a member of the Jedi Order in Luke Skywalker's Jedi Praxeum, or Jedi Academy. It gave us the same gameplay and graphics that Jedi Outcast, which the only change that your journey can be now made by your own, selecting missions in the order you want to proceed, and it brings back the dark side endings, that, unlike Jedi Knight, this one is more easy to choose, but still is worthy of being in any Star Wars fans collection. The other fan favorite is some more shooting action. It contains the arena battlefront, the game that started all, a game that had original and prequel eras, and honestly was played by itself, and without the heroes and space battles, and with two really nice campaigns. Its sequel, the game that made Battlefront from Amazing to Beyond the Worlds, Battlefront 2, and alongside these two unique games, this fan favorite collection contains Republic Commando, a unique game that honestly cannot be expressed with words that are not amazing, legendary and perfect, and worthy to play in both PC and Xbox. Being just a clone, the leader of a commando squad and unique clone troopers, make this game complete above many Star Wars games, and all Star Wars Disney games. And even its multiplayer was a bit simple, it gives you memories worthy to enjoy, like playing with family and get your ass kicked by a person close to you in your first match ever. That happened to me. And that the only, the only flaw that we can all agree that is unanimously is that the game is short in campaign, but still is the best first person shooter of Star Wars of all time. Number 1. Star Wars The Best of PC. A simple title with a simple definition, the best of the best for PC. Because one of these games of the collection is only for PC. This collection have the games that started each legendary saga of its own. The original Empire at War, the original Battlefront, the original Knights of the Old Republic and Republic Commando. Which even if its sequel was cancelled, not by Disney, its legacy live among some of the best novel, comics and main moments in the Clone Wars so perfect that, unlike what Rebels is, it's not fan service garbage in order to barely survive. It's how one game, story and lore can make impact across the galaxy and across media, becoming alongside each game in this spot in unique memories and true Star Wars stories. And well, that was all for this video. If you like it, please give it a like, subscribe, share with all the you know that love Star Wars, comment it, and join me in the Facebook page. Until the next one, this is Carlo wishing you all happy week, brothers and sisters, and may the force be with you all, always.